While Cracker Jacks broke hearts by taking out toys for augmented reality stickers, you may have missed the amazing table tennis trainer, the humanoid diver you want on your side, and a musical use for 3D printer juice. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where if we've said extrude once, we've said it like 25 times. Well, extrude, an extruder, extruded, extruded, it never gets easier to say, extrude. We all know you can 3D print just about any damn thing these days, from phone cases to sticking it to the man and making your own replacement car part. But something quite arty is beginning to happen out there, and we are into it. <laughs> People have started making 3D printed instruments, and this violin might be the coolest of them all. Hot pink? Of course they have that. Made with the standard extruded <laughs> PLA material, the plans are Creative Commons, freely accessible for non-commercial purposes, meaning parents won't have to shell out 1200 bucks just so their kid can get their twinkle twinkle on. <laughs> If you don't have a 3D printer, it costs $450 to assemble one of these yourself. Robots piloted by human avatars exploring treacherous deep sea floors. It's enough to make James Cameron lose his Welcome back, man. But this one's real. Stanford Roboticist partnered with King Abdullah University of Science and Technology to create Ocean One. This mermaid-like, remotely operated vehicle's humanoid shape makes it better than traditional underwater ROVs, at least according to these guys. Propelled by eight thrusters, it can easily maneuver through confined spaces. Electronics are insulated in oil, not air, allowing it to dive deeper without worrying about pressure. But the best part are these cool arms. Each has an articulated wrist with four sensors linked to haptic controls for the pilots, meaning the human can feel what the Ocean One is feeling, whether an artifact is heavy or light, or whether it just wants more. Part of that we can't all be Forrest Gump. The best way for me to fight the communists was to play ping pong. And that's why German engineering student Thomas Mayer built this smart table tennis trainer. The system uses an overhead projector to display your practice data, high scores, and player stats directly onto the table and logs users in by scanning an NFC chip embedded in the paddles. Once you're logged in, you can train for a bunch of different skills, everything from serves and returns to tactics. The only thing it can't do is play against you. Though, judging by BYU's recent food Ball effort, that might not be such a bad thing. Wonderful shot by the robots! And finally, a lesson in how to keep your cool when your computer insists on updating, no matter what you're doing. Microsoft recommends upgrading to Windows 10. What should I do? Ah, don't you love when that pops up, huh? Meteorologist Matinka Slater from KCCI in Des Moines, Iowa, handled it like a pro. If this show were live, all you'd see is a lot of pronunciation sadness. Guys, you just built Dalek. Dalek. I can't do it. How do you say that? <laughs>